see, I told you so. That's not God. He's saying, I'm going to start with the man and, and telling us to shout and praise, whatever. Over one that comes. If you have not taken that first step of faith today, it's time for you to do it. It's time for you to make that decision. Whether you've been a part of this church for a long time or not, it's not the point. The point is your relationship with Christ. It's your relationship with Christ that protects you, that will lead you on, and will do I mean, everything. If you do not have a relationship with Christ today, it's time that you make that step to do it. Not because the pastor said so, but because the Spirit is leading you to do so. I'm just here as a messenger, giving the opportunity. You say, well, Shannon, how do I know? And I'm going to open it up after this last little point. How do I know if the Spirit's leading me? If you feel the weight of the world on you right now, if you feel that same weight every time you're, you hear God's Word, every time you're in church, whatever, you feel that same burden, that weight, and just don't feel like you can make it another Sunday, there's a pretty good chance that the Holy Spirit's convicting you right now. The Holy Spirit's leading you. Or maybe you are, you know for sure you're a Christian. You know that you made that commitment to Him a long time ago. You've been saved, you've been baptized. You know that right now you know you're a Christian, but there's some question in your walk. And maybe that is you. You need to just right now commit your walk to Jesus. It's time that you do it. And you say, well, how do I do it, Pastor? How do I do it? Well, I'm going to do this this morning. I'm going to give the opportunity. It's called the invitation. If you've been in any kind of theological studies whatsoever, and you've been and you study about church and sermons and stuff like that, this is the invitation time. That's an old statement, but that's an old saying. That's the way it is. That's what it's called. It's an invitation. It's inviting you to come. Kind of, well, Pastor, can I do it in my chair? Can I do it where I'm at? Absolutely, you can. But now before we before we do anything else, I want you to know something. That Jesus. Jesus walked the hill of Calvary for you. The Bible says he made himself to be an open shame for all to see. Up on a hill, stripped, beaten, and bruised. He was accounted with the criminals. He was accursed on the tree. Everything the law says. He was willing to do that for you. Your first step in commitment to Christ can be at your chair, but it needs to be as a step of faith and showing that you want to live for Jesus. And you're not afraid and not ashamed to step out and come forward. Take courage. Take courage. Anyone need prayer this morning for anything? Don't be afraid to come forward. Anything at all. Anything at all.